In this video, we'll explore cold straw coming from Mr. AI. And it's a model designed to help us to code. It's quite big. We can install it using Colama Run Cold Straw. Then if we would like to use it in Visual Studio Code, you need the continue extension. And of course, to configure the extension. So once installed, you can click on the configure continue and just paste the following configuration object with the provider and the model. When everything is ready, you should be able to choose here the model and of course ask questions about the code. I'd like to share certain things that uh, might improve the speed of your work with this model. So if you have multiple graphical cards, if they are, let's say, NVIDIA based with NVIDIA SMI minus L, you can grab the unique ID of the card and then insert it in your environmental file. As you can see, we have CUDA visible devices, this variable, and it has the same value. And so this will make sure that uh, Olama will use this GPU first for the model calculations. Afterwards, of course, you need to stop the Olama server and restart it again. Another thing is to open the logs of Olama and here to see what kind of card is being used and whether there are certain problems with the initialization of the server. This comes from here with the right click with the uh, view logs. The other thing is periodically to check for updates both uh, to the extensions as well as to the Olama because uh, most of the time they improve the speed of the operations with the models. I've been running this on RTX 3070 so it's better to grab 4070 at least or just 3090. And here is one website that actually compares different models for assistance. You can use filters with different languages that you'd like to include in the comparison. So it's up to you to choose what kind of model you would like to use for the help of your coding adventures. 